and um, this is quite an opportunity for me here uh, to be here with you today. I'm going to jazz things up a little bit. I'm going to talk about sustainability and I'm going to talk about doing well by doing good. Now, entrepreneurs, all of us here, are custodians of tomorrow. Whether we accept it or not, we as entrepreneurs have the responsibility to create lasting change in business and in society. The future of our business depends on it. What's changed? Well, there's a growing trend that's creating waves in global businesses in head that headlines that's peppered with companies that are doing well by doing good. Headlines that include how companies turn sustainability into billion dollar companies, we're moving too much ahead. Go back to the previous one. Perfect. All right, so there's a growing trend now that's creating waves in global businesses with headlines that are peppered with companies that are doing well by doing good. Headlines now include how companies turn sustainability into billion dollar companies, or how leaders turn green into gold, or six ways successful businesses prove you can profit and still do good. Consumers and customers are becoming more socially conscious. Employees are more idealistic. Investors are more keen on shared value and how sustainability trends will affect their future profits. To be successful, companies and their brands will have to put sustainability as part of their business in everything that they do. As a prominent business analyst puts it, sustainability is finally here to stay. And for all those doubters in business who believe that it's not possible to combine making profit and creating a better world, it's time to think again. Recently, Fortune magazine actually did a change the world list that cited companies taking on the world's toughest challenges in a sustainable way, resulting in social good that propelled companies like Nike, Coke, Pepsi, Unilever, and many more into greater heights, furthering, further securing their foothold in the future success of their businesses, proving that doing good is critical to business success. Now, this is very important because finally, there is a business case for sustainability. It's about how companies solve problems in ways that improve their bottom line. You can solve social problems that can improve also your bottom line. Simply put, creating positive social impact must be part of your business model. When you do this, the breadth and depth of impact will be large. So if you can do business and do good at the same time, well, why not do it? Smart companies now know that doing good translates to high marks with customers. Well-known brands are leading the way and are now competing to get customers' attentions and their share of wallet. In my own case, being in the transport and the automotive industry for more than 13 years, this opened my eyes to the importance of changing the world, well, at least in our part of the world and where pollution is concerned. Now, did you know that in China, 4,000 people a day die of air pollution? In India, it's worse. If you stand um, in Mumbai and breathe the air for just one day, it's equivalent to smoking 100 cigarettes. That's a lot. Studies show that air pollution now kills more people a year than malaria and HIV combined. And in many countries, air pollution accounts to roughly 10 times more deaths than car accidents. Breathing is more dangerous than poor diet, lack of exercise, low blood pressure or high blood pressure and tobacco. Here at home, we are literally inundated with tailpipe emissions every day and everywhere. It's, as they say, a consequence of progress with pulmonary disease as one of the top 10 causes of death in our country today. The sad thing is, air pollution is the world's largest preventable health risk. Now, apart from air pollution being a pandemic and a major health risk, it is also the main cause of climate change and global warming. Transportation in all its forms, land, air, and sea, is a basic necessity. 
It is also a major source of carbon dioxide or emissions. It is a greenhouse gas that is a major cause of climate change. Now, according to Bill Gates and Al Gore, who was just here around two weeks ago, to avoid catastrophic climate change, we need to bring down CO2 emissions. Pollution varies from city to city. Now, notice if the, how cleaner the air is if you go to Tagaytay as opposed to when you stay here in Makati. Now, pollution also varies from corner to corner with poorly ventilated areas. If you live in close proximity to traffic or to a highway, you bear the larger brunt of pollution every day. So if we can bring it down to a micro level, where we live, where we work, cutting down pollution will actually have a lot of benefits to your health, to your staff's health, and to the surrounding areas. Now here's an interesting statistic. Air pollution is at the heart of human activity. Every day, we eat about two kilos of food. We drink at least two liters of water. But how much air do you think we breathe every day? 20 kilograms of polluted air every day. As our cities and our businesses and our services continue to grow, how will that look like when you bring it up to scale? The air we breathe daily will only get worse. The future of mankind is in the air, literally. So we're faced with three choices. One, do nothing. Two, wait for someone else to do something. Or three, we'll do something. Well, we chose to do something, and I hope you will too. So how do we change our part of the world? How can our businesses do well while doing good? Let's learn from one of the largest logistics companies in the world, DHL, and tear a sheet off of their own playbook. Since transportation is a basic need for all kinds of business, why not learn from one whose main business is transportation? Now here's their tried, true, and tested formula on doing well by doing good taken from their Go Green Carbon Dashboard. CO2 savings equals fuel savings equals cost savings. It's a very simple equation. In other words, if you use zero emission vehicles, you will save on fuel and save on cost. If you use zero emission vehicles, you will save on fuel and save on cost. Now, transport fuel costs rack up daily. And since transport is a basic business need, shaving every bit of cost every day will be significant. Tailpipe emissions produce CO2 emissions. These come from ICEs or the internal combustion engine vehicles, the cars, the trucks, and the motorbikes that you and I use. What creates most of the pollution and waste in fuel are the short, frequent trips ICE vehicles makes around the metro. Stop and go traffic significantly increases pollution. Idling, waiting in traffic, gridlock, all these things make it worse. Now, did you know that just five minutes of idling can burn about one cup of gas? If you drive a large SUV, you burn more. Um, in one year, that adds up to an average of about 40 to 70 liters of gas for just five minutes of idling in traffic every day. Now the good news is, this close proximity pollution and waste is also a hanging, low hanging fruit which can be tackled. This is where companies like yourselves can be part of the solution. Back up. There you go, okay. So just imagine if we were to just improve one aspect of our business, such as fuel efficiency per ton kilometer, a key factor for competitiveness, especially for those of you who have businesses that do delivery or have delivery in your supply chain. By using electric trikes on specific routes within the city, we fulfill the equation of CO2 savings equals fuel savings equals cost savings. And that also includes low maintenance costs with an extra benefit of clean air, zero noise, and financial savings for your company. 
We can promote a cleaner and greener life, while at the same time, we can help our companies and our clients save more and earn more. So why is this important for our businesses? Well, with e-commerce fast becoming the forefront and the storefront of our businesses, coupled with the empowerment of SMEs and retailers, the trend shows a strong growth on the very green and very conscious consumer. Having green credentials will score points with retailers, especially those who cater to growing young consumers who's image conscious and who share their often very public environmental values. So think comments and posts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WeChat, and a whole slew of social media platforms. These platforms now give consumers the voice and they also have the power. So how can we all participate? Today I share with you an opportunity to use transport as a means to do well by doing good. A solution that tackles air pollution, noise pollution, achieves sustainability goals with green branding and saving on cost. Simply put, the e-trike is ideal for moving people or limited amounts of goods where frequent short trips, short distance routes are involved. It is ideal for delivering packages in a specific geographic area. It is clean, quiet, and saves on costs. It also eliminates gas pilferage. In addition, as a unique branding tool, you can also use these visible e-trikes in areas populated by those you wish to reach. Last year, we represented our country as the chosen green electric mobility partner of APEC 2015, where our e-trikes served as shuttles to the 21 member country in Asia Pacific ministerial meetings. Anytime frequent short trips are needed, the e-trikes are suitable. It can reach 50 kilometers per hour and can carry up to 400 kilos of load. This is important because if we were to replace just one motorbike with a pollution-free e-trike, you can eliminate as much as two tons, two tons of CO2 emissions per vehicle per year. Now later as um, Richard said, you can actually check these vehicles out outside, or you can try them out. We have a test drive going, going on today also downstairs. Now, pollution is a problem. It hits home with the air that we breathe daily, and it's got major consequences to our planet. CO2 emissions are a major cause of global warming. Climate change is everybody's business. And if we can do something to help mitigate the situation and do well at the same time, well, why don't we? Why don't we? Getting involved means your brand and your company is seen as innovative, socially responsible, ethical, and green. Our goal is to democratize sustainability by lowering the barriers of cost, making it easy for companies to participate and get involved, and to multiply the effort by creating meaningful impact. Getting involved will also create a positive change in the way you operate by upgrading your processes and the way you work. It will create a positive change in the way you innovate by using greener products a change in the way you invest by investing in clean solutions and in employees' health, and by the way you package your products and services using eco-friendly solutions and vehicles. Now, climate change is everybody's business. Environmental sustainability is a growing concern. There is now a groundswell from stakeholders, employees, customers, partners, investors, and governments about compliance to green processes production, supply chain. Consumers now demand transparency, insisting that business be more about just turning a profit, that business should be socially responsible. Now here are some trends that reflect this fact. The rise of the conscious consumer. Think when you go to the grocery and you actually pick up organic or you go local. Rise of the conscious capitalism. The rising power and social movement on climate, as we see on Facebook and Twitter feeds. 
the rise of radical collaboration where competitors actually work together on greening the supply chain, on recycling, and on waste handling. The rise of new transparency where clients, customers, and investors ask, well, who made this? Where did the sources come from? And how was your product delivered? Rise of financing the green economy and the clean economy and rise of the redefinition of what success looks like. Focus on profits is not enough for a great business. Now, studies already show that purpose-driven companies are outstripping conventional ones. They command a wider profit margin, have stronger customer loyalty, and increasing customer base that secures the company's future. Now, a report by McKinsey already concludes that a choice for company, companies today is not if, it's not if you're going to do something about sustainability, but how. How you're going to manage your sustainability activities. You can look at it as a novel way to open up new business opportunities while creating value for society. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, Pricewaterhouse Coopers, Transportation and logistics is the most visible industry in a global effort to curb climate change, and that the sector's number one priority should be to reduce its fuel consumption and CO2 emissions that results in cost savings. Governments and consumers alike are demanding cleaner technology, more ecological products, a smaller carbon footprint, and environmentally sustainable pra practices and processes. It is clear that businesses today cannot afford to be left behind. Scale is needed to create impact. We need to collaborate. We need to work together. We need to partner up to create impact and to make things happen. We can't stop population growth. We can't stop people from using and needing more services. We can't stop the movement of goods, but we can do something about CO2 emissions and pollution. Business is much more than just a way to make money. It's work that matters and is valuable, and it's a valuable part of helping make things better for those who actually need it and for the companies and the communities that we actually do business in. The actual work that you do in business has a great intrinsic value because it helps shape the world in which we live. The SME is at the heart of what moves business here in our country. This formidable group has the power to create critical mass and with great impact. We can have a cleaner and greener environment with less pollution that also benefits our bottom line. It is a matter of choice, one that is deliberate, consistent, and willful. By working together, I believe we can change our part of the world for the better, because the future is not a place we're going to. It's a place we get to create. Thank you, and to God be the glory. <laughs>